because, because I get a phone call and someone tells me prophetess, you know, um, please don't send apostle Ruth Mobley, not another request to come to your church. She does not want to come to your church. I said, how do you know? She said, I heard. Okay. She said, you've been running after her for a year. I said, no, I haven't. She said, yes, you have. I know because I've seen the proof. You all, I went in my inbox. I went in the inbox. And let me tell you, after I went in the inbox, I saw that, yes, I had. I had been um been been inboxing. I inboxed in May of 2018. And 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 in 2018, then turned around um 2018 and after 2018, then um 2018 here we were. Yeah. 2018 <laughs> 2019, and I said, but I haven't been, I haven't talked to her, I haven't talked to her since, what is she talking about, what is that lady talking about, what is, what, what, what is she talking about, I haven't talked to that woman of God since um, 2019, so what is she talking about, I haven't, I haven't requested for her, I haven't requested, so I went in, and sure enough, it was a year. And I said, why is she bringing this up? This is 2020. This has nothing to do with. You see how the devil messes? Uh, this has nothing to do with it. But I felt bad. I felt, I felt embarrassed. I felt like, oh my God. Did I really do this? Did I really run after somebody for deliverance for a whole year? A whole year. Did I really do that? Did I do that? Did I do that? And so, yes, I did. I went through my inbox and, in, you know, 2019, February, March, April, May, June, July, September. Okay. No problem. Um, I know who's doing the smiley faces, but it's okay. It's okay. You're from that team. You're from that side. But guess what you won't do? You won't make me mad. And you won't make me curse. So you can keep on with the smiley faces. Because y'all think that mess is funny. But you got people's lives going on. So go ahead with the smiley faces that you keep on putting up on here. I know who you are. It's funny to y'all, but it's okay. You know why it's funny? Y'all don't have to believe me. Look at the smiley faces that's going up on here. Look at the smiley faces. I'm going to tell you what they laughing about. But you won't make me curse. That's the point. But I'm going to expose y'all. Because see, you all, I need the church to pray. But you know why I need the church to pray? You know why? You know why now that I need the church to pray? Because this same person that called me to tell me, don't run after this person. Watch this. So I said, no, no, she loves me. This woman of God loved me. So I called my spiritual sister and told her what, what was wrong. And she said, don't worry about it, sis. This was last year, y'all. This was last year. I said, um, I said, uh, cause I was talking about love. I was talking about where do we go? I'm not going to go to none of these niggas around here to ask them for prayer. I'm not finna do that. Why? Because they take my business and they laugh and they toy and they do stuff about stuff. Okay. They, they think it's funny and it's not funny. It's not. So they can keep on putting the emoji of things up there laughing. Ki, 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 ki. I'm glad you laughing. Because I'm going to tell you, you ain't going to be laughing when I tell you this. 
You're not going to be laughing when I finish telling you this. You are bold to come up on my page and start all this laughing and start this trouble. You all, why do we got pastors that are ready to fight? Why do we got pastors that will sit up there, won't even hear me? I tried to call. The Bible says, go to the leader, go to the, go to the person and talk to them. Then you got your, when I put the post up to let you know that I ran after you for a year for deliverance and you never had the decency to tell me, Prophetess Brown, I don't want to come over to your church. I don't want to be seen with you because because this other pastor is going that I'm in friends with done told me that if I go be around you, uh-huh. See, you think it's funny? Go ahead and laugh. I want to know if it's so funny when my sons pull up. Uh-huh. I want to know if it's so funny. Go ahead. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? I don't have to lie. You see the funny faces? You see how they laugh? You see how they put the laughing emojis there? Go ahead and do what y'all going to do. It is no problem. Y'all done came to my church and you done sat in front of the gate thinking that y'all going to scare me. But y'all don't scare me. You thinking that you're going to uh, inbox me and tell me what color I have on and to tell me how many members or how many cars that are in the parking lot. What is that, y'all? What is that? How you going to do that? Oh, see how they making the funny faces, y'all? You see how they making the laughter? Because that's from her crew. That's from Apostle Ruth Mobley crew. That's who that's from. I'm glad y'all doing it. Because I'm finna tell y'all. I'm finna tell you something. You play too much. And so you mad because I put a post on my page. And I put the proof on there to think that I'm not lying. That yes, I asked Ruth Mobley for a year. And then you had the woman of God to call me and tell me, stop. Stop asking her for deliverance because she's laughing and she's talking about you. Okay, laughing? I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Ruth Mobley would not do me like that. Ruth Mobley loved me. No, woman of God, go on your Facebook. Look, look, you've been running after her for a year and she's been putting you off. She'll tell me, oh, prophetess, I'm out of town right now. When I come back, I'm going to check my calendar. Okay, wait for four days. Prophetess, give me the time that I can um speak to you. Okay, see, when, when, when this is over, I'm going to post. I'm going to post. I'm going to post all the, the, the inboxes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, because I don't believe, because I feel like that God sent me to Apostle Ruth Mobley. I didn't just ask for deliverance from me. I asked her to come over to the church and do a deliverance service in the church, in the church, in the church. Uh, yeah, thank you. Holy Ghost, the church. I asked her to do a deliverance service in the church. And I said, mind you, I need deliverance myself. I'm literally telling this woman. So, okay. She reached out to me in April, uh, uh, April, 2019. And she goes, prophetess, um, um, can you give me your early? I got two service today. Can you give me your early uh, availability? I said, oh, I have off all day Monday. And, and as I have off all day Monday, you can get in contact with me. Okay, so April, April 28th. I called her, Apostle. I've been, uh, you, uh, you talked to me April the 14th. Um, I'm waiting for you. Um, April the, uh, April the 28th. Okay. Four days later, five days later, I believe. Whatever 14 and 28 is. Okay. Um, I called you eight days later. I believe it was eight days later, but it was on the 28th. And I'm telling you, I said, Apostle, I'm not trying to rush you. Haven't heard from you. Can you give me a call? When I hang up from her, 
I sit there and I inbox the same thing. I'm trying to get in contact with you. Okay. So then about uh, 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 May, um, prophetess, I'm out of town right now. When I get back, I'm going to check my calendar. Okay. I call. Woman of God, did you check the calendar? Did you check? I type it back. Did you check the calendar? June. I'm sorry, prophetess. Okay, let me get back with you. It got to the point that I said, no. This is after a year. No. After I get the call, no. I am not. Woman of God, it's okay. God is going to allow us to meet when it's time to meet, when it's time to meet, when it's time to meet. God's going to do that because by that time I had got a deliverance. By that time, by a whole year running me around, no problem. Why did I bring it up last Tuesday? I mean, last Wednesday, whenever I went off. Why? Because the church is telling us, the Bible said, confess your faults one to another. I'm not going to confess my fault to, to a parishioner, okay? I'm a senior pastor. I'm going to another pastor or either an apostle, okay? All you had to do was to tell me that you didn't want to come to the church. All you had to do was to tell me that. Well, while I'm talking, okay, and while I posted it up on my page, her daughter comes on and her daughter says, let me tell you about my mama. Um, my mama, uh, been busy. She a senior pastor. You can't tell me about busy. I know what busy is. I'm a senior pastor too. Oh, and my sister died. No, you can't use that excuse either. Cause after her daughter passed, she was still taking engagements after. And when my sister in Christ told me, she said, woman of God, it ain't all that busy in the world. Let me call her in. I said, I don't really want you to do that. I don't want to play no games. She said, no, I'm approved to you. She ain't all that busy. So the woman of God called her and said, I would like to have Ruth Morbley down to my church. Guess what? She went down to her church. So she had time. She just didn't want to tell me that she did not want to be seen with me. Oh, yeah, by the way, then when I said last week that that she even told me by an email, when I come in, I don't want nobody to know that I came in. I don't want nobody to know that I came in. What is that? Why you don't want nobody to know? Why you don't want other people to come and be a part of the service to get deliverance? There may be somebody else that need to be delivered in Tampa. I know a couple of people that need to be delivered. But if they see Ruth Mobley coming, okay, maybe they'll come over and get deliverance because they know that Ruth Mobley deals with deliverance. But guess what, y'all? Guess what? I had Pastor Samantha fighting me about the church building. I didn't realize that Ruth Mobley came in, in that church to be with uh, Samantha. So, oh, did you tell me? Did you tell me not to do that because of that? Well, I don't know, and I'm not going to assume, but this is what I do know. So while her daughter being smart and disrespectful and telling me, well, if you need to be delivered, so why don't you go and talk to God? Now, now, now I'm sorry. Your daughter in your ministry. How did your daughter get your, your, uh, uh, your inboxes and be able to throw them back at me? Well, the same inboxes that your daughter put on the screen last week. They were still the same ones I put. So you fuel in the fire. You get your daughter to come after me. Okay. 
a daughter, your daughter. I'm a grown woman. I got a 29-year-old daughter. I got a 28-year-old son. I got a 27-year-old daughter. And I have a 23-year-old son, a 16-year-old son, and a 9-year-old son. I'm glad you think it's funny. Who that? That's the Mobley clan right there. Y'all that is on here, watch it. Watch it. Okay, so you being disrespectful coming at me. You didn't see not now one of my kids come at you. You didn't see not now one of my kids even come at her daughter. Now, Prophetess, Prophetess Stephanie was just on here, and I said, my daughter ain't nothing. My Both of my daughters ain't nothing to be messed up with. Why didn't my children, why didn't my children raise up? Why didn't my church even raise up and go after the daughter that came after me smart? Not only did the daughter come on, but also the cousin came on and said some smart stuff. Y'all see them smiling faces y'all see i'ma show y'all that it's real i'ma show you that it's real because they sit in them smiling faces on this thing and they think it's funny and it's not funny okay so while ruth mobley lying and saying oh this prayer is for kimberly brown if the prayer's for me baby pick up the phone and call me and pray Pick up the phone and call me and pray. But, but no, you send your guard dogs at the church last week. St look at y'all. Y'all, you know what? You right. How did I know that those were Ruth Mobley people? Okay. Okay. So then why did you inbox when my son caught it? See, I didn't want my 23 year old son to catch it. Y'all can do all the laughing faces. Y'all can do that because you're disrespectful. You come up on my page and you do that. But I'm going I'm to show you what y'all laughing at. I'm going to show y'all what y'all think y'all laughing at. Okay. So, so you send your, you send your guard dog to the church last week. Y'all posted in the car. Because you said you're going to pull up on me. You don't want this smoke. That's what you said. You also told me to drop my address. I, all through the conversation, I was saying I'm at 3201 East uh, uh, Genesee Street. Pull up. It don't matter what y'all going to do. See, you think it's funny, but I'm going to show you what's really funny. Okay? Okay? So, 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 while all this mess is going on, the wrong son got it. So, while you laughing, I want you to take this back. Because my son is a, no, I'm not going there. But let me tell you something. My son got the gang that he deal with all in Bradenton. Why y'all think it's funny. And, 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 and the gang in Sarasota and the gang in Palmetto and the gang in Tampa and over there and Osceola, I mean, or over there in, in, in Kissimmee and my son and all and, and, and 16 others went in our 15s was getting ready to go to Ruth Mobley church and Ruth Mobley house and shoot it up. Why you think it's funny and playing with people's lives? See, there's a reason why. There's a reason why my children nor my church clap back. There's a reason why. Because my family don't play. So while y'all laughing, while y'all got people coming over to my church, while y'all got people coming over my church sitting up, see y'all, see, see, I'm glad you said that, Robinson, that I'm truly, I'm just truly disgusted by the fairness of the body of Christ. I'm glad, baby, see the laughing faces. Those are the ones that came to the church and posted up at the church and thought that they were going to scare me. My daughters don't play. Again, I got a 29. I got a 28. I got a 27. I got a 23. Why you laughing? I'm glad you're laughing. And why, and why you are, uh, 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 and I wish somebody would call, uh, um, Yolanda, uh, 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 Prophetess Yolanda Williams and let her know that y'all on here laughing. Let me tell you what I did, church. Let me tell you what I did, church. Church, I went there and I called people. 
I call people. I call people. I call people and I said, look. I called her elder. I called one of her leaders. I called Ruth Mobley leader. I called Andrea Hill, evangelist Andrea Hill. I said, woman of God, can you get in touch with your pastor? I want to see if we can talk. I want to see if we can talk. She went to talk to her leader. Her leader told her until I come on Facebook and straighten her name out. She don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk to me. What did I do to your name? I told the truth. I told the truth. I even showed the inboxes. So after this live, I'm going to show the inboxes again. I told the truth. The truth is I ran after you for a year. A year. All you had to do is say, I don't want to deal with you. Somebody in your church, Ruth Mobley, called me and told me, prophetess, stop calling. Stop asking her to come. She don't want to come. I said, that's not true. She don't want to come to your church. Prophetess. Somebody tell me something, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Really? How am I going to let it go when they're making threats? How am I going to let it go? You see the smiling faces, the laughing faces? How am I going to let it go? How am I going to let it go? And I can block people, but how am I going to let it go when you're coming to my church and sitting in cars and, 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 and mysteriously last week, a window get bust out my car. Let it go. Let it go. How can I let it go? You're right. You're right. I'm going to let it go out of my heart. I'm going to let everything go out of my heart. I'm telling it all. Because if my children go over there and shoot up. Okay. Then she going to get on Facebook. Oh, y'all pray. Prophetess Brown came over here and shot up my church. Really? I didn't. Because she got on there last week and prayed and said this prayer is for Prophetess Brown. But what y'all don't know, while she talking about the prayers for me, you got your leader calling you and telling you Prophetess Brown want to sit down and have a peaceful conversation. You don't have to meet her in person. Let's do it over the phone. And she said no. Matter of fact, she also said my family it wants to stand up for me. Your family want to stand up for you, Ruth Mobley. Your family want to stand up for you, Ruth Mobley. This ain't the time for your family to stand up for you, Ruth Mobley. This is the time that me and you, Ruth Mobley, come together and make it peace. Get on here and straighten your name out. You are a good woman. You are a good woman of God. You can preach. You can pray. You're a good mother, probably. You're a good wife. All I said is you lied to me. You could have told me the truth. You could have said to me, Kimberly Brown, I don't want to come to your church. But somebody in your camp, Ruth Mobley, somebody in your camp, in your camp, call me and tell me, Prophet is stop calling. You've been running after her for a year. You all, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm begging for prayer. I'm begging for deliverance in my church. I'm begging. I'm begging for prayer. And somebody in Ruth Mobley Church calls me and tell me, stop calling her. Somebody in her church, I didn't even know I was running after her for a year. Where do a senior pastor go? 
<laughs> That's why I brought up her name last week. Because somebody said, well, go to another leader. I did. I chased after him for a year. I didn't know it was a year. And she kept on telling me. She kept on telling me. Not one time did she say, Prophetess Brown, I can't come. I can't come. I don't want to come to your church. But I get somebody in her camp. Her camp. And you got this person that is on my live right now. That's from her camp. With these emojis laughing. With these emojis laughing. They're laughing. You know why? Because they sent a car full of niggas to the church last week. They sent the car full of this today. But I called her leader. I called one of her leaders. I called one of her people that is a leader under her, Evangelist Andrea Hill. And I said, can you go to your leader and tell her, I want to talk to her so we can bring it together. You see the laughing, faint, the laughing emojis? See, they think this junk is funny. They think this junk is funny. That you're going to sit outside the fence of my church, okay? And when I put it out last week, you found time. Because somebody told me she put a prayer out on you. Okay, why she didn't call me. So while Ruth Mobley praying for me, so-called praying, I'm asking a leader to go to her so me and her can talk. So we can talk. I didn't mean to go in. I didn't mean to uncover Ruth Mobley. Because I wasn't trying to come on Facebook about Ruth Mobley. I was coming on Facebook about my lights and my water. I was coming on Facebook for that. But somebody said, well, why don't you go get prayer for one of the pastors? And I said, I tried. And I told the story how I tried. That's how I start talking about Ruth. So I felt bad because I feel like she's a good woman and I still do. I don't understand why she didn't just tell me. So I asked her leader, please call Ruth Mobley and ask her, can I talk to her on the phone? She told the leader, go back and tell Prophetess Brown, I'm not going to talk to her. Until she go back on Facebook and get my name straight. What am I going to get your name straight? I said on Mario, she's a good woman of God. She can pray. She can do all that. But she lied to me. I'm going to stand on that. She lied to me. And when I get off this live tonight, I'm going to show it. But you had a car out there today. You had a car last week. Yeah. I seen it. But it didn't scare me. You know why? Because I called another leader. My son said, Mama, uh-uh. Uh-uh. All them negative, all them negative comments. Uh-uh, Mama. So they was going at it with my son. One inboxed me and told me, give me your address. I'm coming to your address. This is Ruth Mobley's daughters and her family. Because, because even Ruth Mobley told her leader that was on the phone, not her leader, but somebody that is under her, which is, I said, uh, Andrea Hill. She said, my family wants to take up for me. Okay, why? So what your family want to take up for you? This is not the time for our families to come up. Because while your daughter on my page, Ruth Mobley, telling me off, I had to hold my children back. Because see, when you come for me, you got to know what kind of army I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with some unsaved children. Uh huh. I'm dealing with a son that is in a gang. And the gang had got up. And last night, I'm begging my son. I 
I'm begging my son, no son, please don't do it, son. Come on. It's going to make mama look bad. Please, son. He said, mama, mama. No, they doing threats. I don't, we don't do threats, mama. We don't do threats.